Peace without Russian defeat means that we are forgetting and not seeing that um, nationalism, ultra-nationalism is scaling up. The ultra-right political parties are getting more and more support in different societies. Do you really want to live in the world where um, this party is, are gaining ground and where there are no rules or there is rather one rule, the um, rule of the power of might as opposed to the rule of the power of right and law and principles and uh, agreements. Fourth, peace without Russian defeat only means a postponement of the big war. If someone wants his or her children to fight in the new war, they have to clearly and honestly say, I'm tired of the war where Ukrainian children and Ukrainian people are dying, so I want further down the road, want my children to die in fight with this Russian empire. And that will be true. And that will be honest answer. The trick is only to say it out loud and you can start from saying it to yourselves. We have to understand that peace without Russian defeat um, means that we are getting into peace with the 21st century's Hitler. Putin is absolutely Hitler in the 21st century. Absolutely same methods, absolutely same um, approach. You know, put, uh, Hitler was uh, coming into power as a result or a response to humiliation of the defeat of uh, Germany in the First World War. Uh, Putin came into power as, to an extent, a response uh, to humiliation that Russia uh, has received in its defeat in the Cold War. So uh, we also see absolutely similar imitational democracies. We see that uh, they are using the same physical extermination approach towards their opponents. We see that they are using also the same or have been using and are using the same hybrid methods of starting the new wars. Um, we see the same appeasement of the aggressor as we saw towards uh, towards uh, Hitler and we saw towards uh, uh, Russian Putin.